welcome to programming knowledge so in the last video i had shown you the knn model and how to build it and we had also checked the accuracy and we got it around 83 percent which was less than the logistic model you can see we had misclassified samples as 1455 now today i will show you the effect of k value on the classifier what we will do we will create a list empty list called misclassified sample that is equate to empty list and next thing would be we will calculate the error for k values between 1 and 20 so we will get best among them so we had tried for only 5 last time as you can see here n neighbors we had given 5 so we will now give 1 to 20 and we will select the best one which has better accuracy and less number of misclassified samples so let's do that so we will call our for loop so for i in range we will give from 1 to 20 what we want to do we will create one uh, instance of the knn classifier so knn equals to k neighbors classifier inside that will give neighbors and will give the value is i and then we will just fit the model that is input and output on the model instance so input would be train x oops and output would be train y so these are the data frames next thing would be we will create one variable called prediction i so it will iterate over the loop and it will save all the predictions so we will just pass the prediction to that so canon dot predict function inside this we will pass our test frame that is test x and then we will just call our list that is misclassified We didn't run it, so we'll just run it. Okay. Now you can just use tab, and now you can see misclassified sample dot append, and inside this we'll just pass our test y is not equals to the prediction of i, and we'll just sum the values and just run this it will take some time because it is calculating for each case from 1 to 20 for all the neighbors so we'll start from neighbor 1 and we'll go till neighbor 20 so we'll wait for some time until that we can type misclassified sample okay it has run so we'll just print the list and we can see the values so we'll find out which one has the lowest so we have two values 1405 and which comes around so 14 14 and 16 are the neighbors which will give us the best values if you want we can try it out we'll just put it here as 14 and we'll just run it and we'll just fit it then we'll just predict it test x And just on the confusion matrix it will give error because as you can see in the last video it's shown me so to test x and test y we have to run it again so if we go up we can see the test train split method on top so this we have to run it again and just to sell run all above 
that should do the job and we'll go down to our k neighbors and then we'll run this now we should not get error for configuring matrix you can see it has um, classified 6398 correctly and 1246 correctly this is for less than 50,000 this is for greater than 50,000 and we'll just calculate the accuracy and it is increased to 84 percent as you can see the uh, finding out the right neighbors number so it was 14 this time we get higher accuracy you can just check the misclassified samples it is 1455 for the neighbors as 5 now check for 14 so you can see it is reduced to 1405 that is 50 class uh, 50 uh, samples are classified correctly so this will help you in classifying or improving the accuracy of your model so now we'll go for the case study 2 that is regression analysis so this is the regression case study and our case study will be predicting the price of pre-owned cars so as compared to the earlier case study that was classification we had two categories in that in which we have to class, uh, classify if a person is uh, falls under the less than 50,000 category or greater than 50,000 category of the salary so this one is function approximation that is regression so we'll find a price for the pre-owned cars so many websites such as uh, cardeco.com use this algorithm so let's look at the problem statement so storm motors is an e-commerce company who act as mediators between parties interested in selling and buying pre-owned cars so for the year 2015 and 16 they have recorded data about the seller and the car including some attributes such as specification details condition of car salary details registration details web, web advertisement details make and model information and price so i'll be showing all this information in the csv file so the storm motors wishes to develop an algorithm to predict the price of the cars based on the various attributes associated with the car so in order to set a favorable price which will invite the seller also and the buyer also the storm motors want to use this algorithm that is regression analysis and come to a conclusion of a price which will be favorable to both of the parties let me show how to go ahead with this in the next video thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video